Greetings everyone, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to exploit a format string vulnerability to read and write arbitrary memory. In order to follow along with this demo, you're going to have to have disabled ASLR as I showed in demo 2. You can find the source code that I'm going to be using in a link in the video description. So let's take a look at it. Here's the code I'm going to be using. As you can see, it's a pretty simple C program. It includes main whatever. This represents the secret string that I'm going to be reading and writing to over the course of this exploit. This is a buffer that's going to store my format string, which I'm reading from user input. Now you'll notice that unlike in demo 2, there is no stack-based buffer overflow in this code because I'm using str n copy rather than string copy. There is, however, a format string vulnerability because I'm calling printf with a single argument that I'm reading from user input. And then at the end, this is just a pretty the output and a return. So let's actually take a look at this. Okay, so let's get started looking at that code in our terminal here. Now, I've already have it compiled as before. You don't need to use any special flags. You can just compile it with GCC. So let's fire this up in GDB. We'll dis main to look at the main function. A couple important things to note here. One, this is the contents of our egg variable. 41, 42, 43 is capital ABC. And it's being stored in EBP minus 0XC. So this register is going to represent the address that we're going to want to read and write. So we're going to need to get that once we start running the program. Here is the str n copy where I store the format string, and then here is the printf where the actual format string vulnerability is going to take place. Now the first thing I'm going to want to do is set a breakpoint after the str n copy, but before the printf. So very simply, I'm going to set a breakpoint at main plus 80, which is going to be right before the printf executes. Okay, my breakpoint is set. So now I need to run it. I'm going to run it using Python, and I'm just going to print a bunch of A's just so I can see where I end up on the stack. The cool thing about Python is I can do things like this to print 40 A's without having to type it out 40 times like a peasant. Why 40? It's a more or less arbitrary number just because this way it'll be very easy to spot on the stack. So I'll run this now. I'm at my breakpoint, so let's take a look at the stack. I want to look at exactly where the stack pointer is going to be, and I'm going to look here at eight D words. Why eight? Because I just know this is going to give me what I want, but you can look at any number of D words that you want as long as it shows you everything you need to see. So this is where ESP is pointing to, and remember that ESP is a register that points at the top of the stack. And then here, because this is all 41s, this is clearly the beginning of the string that I sent to the program using Python. Now, ESP is going to increment as we do this. So the first thing I need to do is count the number of D words in between ESP and the address, the start of the address that I control, the start, the start of memory that I control, which is here. And so there's one, two, three, four, five, six D words that I'm going to need to pad through in my printf before I get to an address that I control, which is this one. The second thing I need is an address that I want to read and write from. And remember, that's EBP minus 0 XC. So let's get the contents of that. X EBP minus 0, eh, minus 0 XC. OK, so it's bffff 33 c And you'll notice that it has the contents 41, 42, 43, which is our egg value. So now we need to construct our actual format string exploit. So we're going to run this again. And again, I'm going to use Python here. Now we're going to need to do three things. First, we're going to need to supply the address that we want to read and write to. And that's going to be this address here. Now remember that we need to supply it in little endian. So the way to do that here is to do slash x 3c f3 ff bf. So that's my address. The second thing I need to do is pad through the stack until I get to an address that I control. I know I need to pad through six D words, remember. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do percent 08x. This is going to read eight hexadecimal characters, or four bytes. And I want to do this. Well, first, I'm going to add a dash here just to pretty the output. You'll see why I'm doing this in a second. And I need to do this six times, because there are six D words. Finally, what I need is the actual printf operation that I want, which is going to be percent %s. Percent %s is going to read the contents of an address as a string. And my print and my Python. And I'm going to run this. I'm going to start my debugging again. What did I screw up? Oh, yes. There we go. Important. OK, 
So now I'm going to run this again. Now let us take a look at the stack again. Now you'll notice that I have my same six D words here from my ESP, but instead of having 41s like I had before, now I have the address that I want. This is BFFF3C. So if I continue here, what's going to happen is I have successfully read the contents of this address, which is ABC. Now, then there are these six D words here. This is not six random four byte chunks. This actually matches exactly with what I see on the stack. So BFFF8888, that's here. 07F, that's here. 40113, that's here, and, and so on. So this is actually padding through the stack until I get to an address that I control, whereupon I'm performing the operation I want to perform, which is to read the contents of this address as a string. Now, as promised, I can also write memory and not just read memory. And the way I do this is really pretty simple. All I'm going to do is I'm going to change my percent %s to percent %n. Percent %n is going to write the number of bytes output so far in this current printf operation. So it's somewhat difficult to write arbitrary uh, data, but with some effort and some finagling, it is possible to do. So I'm going to run this again with my new input, and what I want to do is I want to look at the contents of my address before and after my write. So it's bffff33c. So right now it's my 41, 42, 43, the egg value as I expect. If I execute the next instruction and then do it again, now I have the value 3a. So 3a represents in hex the number of characters written so far in the print of operation. So there you go. That is how to read and write arbitrary memory by exploiting a format string vulnerability. Thanks for watching.